cat here with Standing Stone Kennels, and we have another pup date for you from the Breezy Walker litter. These little guys are two weeks old today, so we have a whole bunch of things to do with them. A, we are going to weigh them. B, we're probably going to have to supplement little Mr. Zephyr. He is doing a much better job of catching up, but we are still staying on top of supplementing him about every four hours now. And then um, I'll check my weights on the rest of the puppies, see if anybody else is slowing down with their weight gain. Um, but we will monitor that like we have been over the last two weeks daily. We're going to do their biosensor training. They're two weeks old, so they're probably going to need their nails trimmed as well. And then I'm just going to show you a little um, eyes and ears update because we've got some peepers finally starting at 14 days as well as checking out their coats and their tails and claws. So, so many things at two weeks old. Busy, busy puppies. So they are all pretty snoozy right now. So I want to show you their coloration change as we're looking at that. See how dark they're getting through their little legs and through their sides here. You can still see a few pink sp spots on their skin. Um, so they're not going to be completely roan, um, but there is going to be some very heavy ticked pretty puppies in this litter. So see how pink this tummy is? So that'll be still all white hair and then some ticking spots through there, but it's very interesting to watch the progression of their coloration change from birth to even just two weeks, how much they've changed. So, so let me grab, let me see if I can pick out Hale, because you're my first puppy. Oh, of course, you're the furthest away from me. Because Hale is my first puppy to weigh, just if I'm gonna try and go in order and try and not get lost with all 10 of you. So I've got my scale on. I can, here, let me try and turn it sideways so you might be able to see what's going on too. 808 grams. Good job, buddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down on my puppy sheet for week two. He's gained about 300 grams since last week, so that is good weight gain. Uh, it's a big litter, so I don't expect leaps and bounds. Next is Blast. Here she is. Come here, Blast, baby. Seven ninety. Good girl. Put you back in there. And she's gained about two hundred grams. Little man Zephyr. We are working hard on you, buddy, to get you to gain some weight. 520 grams, you're giant. At least giant for him. He has actually gained almost 200 grams, about 170 grams since last week, which is huge progress for that little guy. I'm super excited. I'm gonna grab Cyclone over here. Holy chunky monkey. He's 980 grams. <laughs> Big old boy. He has actually gained 150 or 350 grams. Sorry, my math skills. 350 grams in a week. Um, draft. Come here, baby. This little guy is probably the next smallest next to Zephyr. 740 grams. So we've been keeping an eye on his weight really, really closely too. But he has also gained um, almost 300 grams. So that's awesome. Okay. Gust, come here, buddy. Ugh, big guy. 698 grams, which he's only gained about 120 grams since last week. So he's gonna go on my bump up my supplement list. Flurry. Come here, girl. She's a big old girl. 958, whew. You're giving Cyclone a run for his money. She has also gained 
almost 350 grams. Twister. Come here, twist. 812 grams. She's gained just over 200 grams since last week. And we've got Tornado right here. Again, I love this new scale, 844 grams. It doesn't turn off on me in between weighing these puppies every single time. It's uh, very stable, so puppies are wiggly, but it doesn't jump all over the place. So Tornado gained almost 200 grams. And then Wendy, my little girl over here. Yes. Last but not least, how much do you weigh, Missy? 850 grams. Good girl. And she's gained over 300 grams since last week. So. Like I said, everybody's gained weight. Some have gained less than others. I've got probably Blast, and, or not Blast, excuse me, Draft, Zephyr, and um, Gust that are gonna get a little bit of my extra attention as far as supplementing goes. So I'm gonna move my puppy scale out of the way and grab a bottle quick. So I've got my bottle. I've only got a few of these puppies here to supplement right now, so I didn't make a full bottle. Let me go ahead and grab a couple of these guys. Oh, come here, baby Zephyr. So they've gotten a lot better over the last couple weeks of accepting the bottle when they're hungry. He's like, I don't know if I'm hungry. I want to show you. He's still got a pretty good belly right now. So either he's been getting a lot more um, nursing on mama done or the amount that he's able to intake is holding him over for a longer amount of time. So I'm gonna let him wake up just a little bit more and I'm gonna try again, but I'm never gonna force him because overeating can cause problems as well. We don't want these little guys to get so overfed that they are having diarrhea or anything like that um, because that can just set us back with hydration and just being able to absorb any of those nutrients. So he's thinking about it, thinking. He's like, hmm, I might be more full than I think. You too full? Yeah, he's not super interested, so I'm not gonna push it. I am gonna grab my little baby nail clippers out here. These are just people nail clippers. Their nails are so short right now, or small right now that just Catching the tips with these little trimmers are all that it really takes. So now you think you want to nurse, trying to nurse on my finger? Well, when I get your nails done, we'll see if you want another try. <laughs> Being all excited to eat makes trimming your nails not as easy as when you guys are sleepy. Maybe I should have done my nail trim first before I got him all excited about eating. Rookie mistake. Okay. okay, we got all the nails trimmed. Good job. We'll try one more time since he's trying to latch onto my finger. It's right here. He's like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I could eat. I don't know if you can get zoomed in enough to see the little slits on his eyes opening up though. It's pretty neat. He's got his little peepers started. Can you see him? Uh, kind of, not really. Okay, yeah. I'll try and get you maybe a little closer. Maybe somebody's eyes will be a little more open. I can see the shine on his actual eyeball though. So they are opening up as well as his ears are opening up. Um, the interesting thing about puppies is if you didn't know, they are born both blind and deaf. 
and then their eyes and ears start to open anywhere between 10 to 14 days usually. Uh, this is a bigger litter, so they sometimes are a little bit slower to mature in those physical signs um, as size and eyes and ears. So 14 days they're opening up. Uh, but when their ears open up, their hearing is now fully functional, whereas when their eyes start to open up, they are um, still pretty fuzzy. So let's see, can you get a good look at them? He's like, I'm still trying to nurse. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I was still trying to nurse. Well, you got a fat belly, so I'm not going to push it anymore, monkey. Let me see. Okay, I also wanted to do draft. So let me grab draft. Not gonna make my rookie mistake this time though. I'm gonna trim nails first, see if that helps me out. One thing that we notice um, as well when we have to supplement an entire litter is that these puppies get so conditioned that when we pick them up, that we're gonna be feeding them, that they start getting a little bit frantic um, in these early stages before we start puppy mush, that they actually, like you pick them up and they start just getting wiggly and a little more crazy. So we also make note to take time to um, not only do their biosensor training, since that's still going on through 16 days, but we also spend extra time and have um, all the people that are employed by us spend extra time just sitting in and loving on the puppies and not just supplementing and feeding them. So if you think about how many puppies this is to supplement, and how long that would take, and then also how long to do their biosensor training, and then how long to sit in the box and give each of them individual lovings. That is a lot of puppy time. So if I have any volunteers that think that this would be a great job, move on down to Kansas and I will get you a job application. Last foot. So I don't really know if um, doing my nail trim first or second really made that much of a difference. These guys are pretty wiggly, um, but you can see, I think you can see drafts peepers pretty good too. His eyes are darker than what um, Zephyr's are. So you might not be able to see that coloration as easily, but he's like, give me some food people. You just barely see, see them. Their but but they are opening up. Um, look at their tails though. Tails are healing really nicely. And, they look good. and do claw spots, pretty much completely healed up. So that is pretty awesome. I mean, only a couple weeks ago, well, not even a full couple weeks ago, we did those. So okay, let's get you some food since that's what you're all about. He says, yes, please. Oh, look at Hale. Can you see Hale up bowing my ankle? He decided to come snuggle. People a lot of time ask about Breezy as well. Um, she is doing great. She is nursing these puppies and taking care of them, cleaning them, licking them, and everything like that. However, she is a love bug and I need to be able to do all the things that we talked about with these puppies and she would be right in my lap um, and making that a little more difficult. So I had to put her up just for this time that we're getting these guys taken care of, Wade, and this video shot but she will definitely be back in with them as soon as we are done. Another thing that I wanna mention, we added in our divider. These guys are pretty sleepy right now, but they are starting to stand up and wobble around a little bit, and I don't need anybody wobbling themselves right out of the box. So we put in a divider so that that wouldn't happen. These guys aren't eating a ton at all of their supplementation because they really don't need a ton more than what Breezy's able to provide them. This is just an extra little bump that we're doing throughout the day to help that weight gain that we'd like to see improve just a little bit. Typically we start our puppy mush after three weeks, anywhere from three to four weeks. Um, we try and start that process when we start seeing little teeth come in, but we may have to make the decision to start that supplementation process a little, or the mush process a little bit earlier, make that consistency a little bit soupier, just so that um, these guys can get a little extra opportunity for food um, sooner rather than later. So we'll keep evaluating that and obviously let you know if you're following along with this series. 
how um, and when we decide to do that. So make sure you've got notifications turned on and you're subscribed to the channel. All these videos are going in a playlist, so you'll be able to follow along really easily with these guys. And while you're there, check out some of our other videos because we have a lot of great content. Blast, you little piggy. You're gonna make a liar out of me and I'm gonna have to make another little bottle for Gust. Can you hear his little oink pig noises that he's chug-a-lugging? I'll get closer. Hopefully my lapel mic picked that up. Pretty cute little sounds. My belly's getting tight. Cyclone says he's, oh, now he was the king of the pile. Now he's buried to the bottom. Puppy piles are so cute. Oh, good job, buddy. You ate good. Okay, let me go ahead and work with Gust quick since he's the other one that needs to supplement. I don't know if your eyes are quite peeped because this is just the day that they've started. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try him supplementing first. And then I'll get his nails trimmed. So out of those three, Blast definitely says, I'm coming back for more. Um, supplemented the easiest. <laughs> Good Lord, puppy. You're not supposed to be able to climb my lap yet says, watch me. But uh, Zephyr was like, eh, I could eat. It took a little coaxing. Gust is being a little lackadaisical about eating as well. So we'll just have to make note to try them again later. Um, Blast might not need another supplementation later just because he tanked up on this. Uh, whereas, and Zephyr's belly feels pretty full, whereas feeling just body, I feel like Gust could use a little bit of a meal. So he is nursing now, he's latched, but he's popping off a little bit. So I might make a note to say, hey, I'm gonna come back and offer you a bottle here in another couple of hours. He takes a couple drinks, then he pops off, then he goes back to it. So we'll just let him, let him continue right now. My cameraman thinks he should have brought the tripod. <laughs> yeah, getting him out there. Good, good upper body workout, babe. I didn't realize you were gonna make like the never ending puppy update. There's so many things that are happening right now. So I had to show everything. Mm -hmm. And with a litter of 10, there are a lot longer videos than with the litter of four. You can definitely see that size difference between Zephyr and Tornado here. Even though he's got really good weight, he is just a little behind everybody else because it took him so long to be able to get gain, start gaining weight so well. So hop on in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I do your nails? Nope. I need to do your nails and everybody else's then quick. Achoo! Excuse me. I can't see what I'm doing when you got your face in the way. So just taking the tips of the t nails off, just like we would if they were adults. We typically transition from these little puppies, little nail clippers that I'm using for the puppies at between four and five weeks old. Uh, when their nails are a little bit bigger, we'll transition to using an actual dog nail clipper. One last paw, sir. Okay, now to just keep track of everybody else. Flurry, your turn. 
And now you're going to do the rest of the nails and then we'll be back. Okay. Then we're going to do the rest of the nails and we'll be back. Like I said, my cameraman's arms are getting tired and he can help me then. And all of our nails are trimmed. Thanks for your help, cameraman. And we are going to start biosensor training with all of these guys. So I'm gonna grab Hale here. And like we've talked about before with biosensor training, this is done between days three and 16. So we've only got a couple days left of this. And it is done and studies have shown that doing these five like manipulations with the puppies will actually build stronger cardiac systems, stronger adrenal glands, uh, stronger immune systems, which is going to allow puppies, dogs um, to tolerate stresses that can be from traveling, from exercise, getting sick, just that much easier. So um, building stronger puppies is the name of the game. So we're going to go ahead and show you what that looks like again. I'm going to hold puppies erect. Turn puppy upside down. Hold him on his back. And these are all positions that you, the puppies aren't going to really be put in in nature. Then put them in a cold little washcloth. All of these things are only done for about five seconds. And then grab my little Q-tip for between the toes tactile stimulation. So I'm going to get through these guys. <laughs> Zephyr. Zephyr. He says, I'm awake now, guys. But I'm going to get through these guys. I'm probably going to solicit my cameraman's help again to get through all 10 puppies in a timely manner. So we're going to finish biosensor training with these puppies. And then we will be back with another pup date very soon. Thank you guys for watching.